and welcome back to English Outside the Box's video learning series. My name is Jennifer and this is 5 Minute English, a video that will help you improve an English skill in 5 minutes or less. Today's focus is going to be pronunciation, specifically word reductions that are common in English. So word reductions are words that are reduced when they are used in conversational English. So this will be helpful for you to not only communicate more like a native English speaker, but it will help you understand native English speakers that you talk to in person or when you watch videos. So some common words that we'll be reducing today are going to be the words and, and the um, pronouns them, him, her, and the modal can. So we're going to be reviewing what these words sound like as an individual word, and, him, her, them, and can. However, when we say them in a sentence combined with other words and sounds, they don't sound like that, so I will help you differentiate them. Are you ready? Let's go. Let's take a look at the words that we said we were going to review in today's 5-Minute English lesson. We're going to, again, look at and, them, him, her, and can. On the screen, you'll see the words and sentence examples in black, and in red, you will see the sounds and the pronunciation of what they will be and what they should sound like in a sentence. So when we say the word and together in a sentence, it will just sound like the consonant n. Them and him are going to have the same sound in a sentence, um, because we're going to remove the initial th for them and h for him. So notice that the context is going to be incredibly important here to know which word we are saying. Her is going to have the same pattern. We are going to eliminate the beginning consonant h, and we're just going to pronounce the ending er sound. The strong form of can, an, has that short a sound, very an nasally in American English. However, the weak form in a sentence is going to have more of a short i, kin sound. Let's take a look at these sentence examples together. Number one with and. I went to the store for fruits and veggies. Fruits and veggies. Fruits and veggies. Try and repeat it after me. I went to the store for fruits and veggies. The next example, I'm going to call them after school. Call them. I'm going to call them after school. I'm going to call them after school. Try to repeat it again after me. I'm going to call them after school. Good job. The next one, I have combined three words. All of her is going to sound a little bit like the name Oliver. Take a listen. John gave all of her friends a ride with him. So notice all of her is Oliver. We're cutting out the H, er sound. A ride with them, with them. Try to repeat it after me. John gave all of her friends a ride with him. And the final one, can, with the weak form, kin. Taking a look at the example, she can, she can go tomorrow, but Taylor can go today. Can go, can go. Try to repeat it again after me. She can go tomorrow, but Taylor can go today. Nicely done. So a great way for you to practice is going to be to create some of your own sentence examples with these words highlighted up here. I recommend taking a recording of yourself so you can identify whether you are saying these words correctly. Remember, 5-Minute English is a way for you to practice English and connect with me. So you can uh, take a video and upload it on Facebook or Instagram and tag me at JenESL760. You can send me 
a message on the blog. The link is below this video in the description section, or you can just send me a quick email and we can talk a little bit more about your pronunciation skills. Jen, ESL 760 at EnglishOutsideTheBox.com. Either way, I hope that you connect with me and have learned a little bit more about American pronunciation in this five minute English video. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel to continue receiving more updates of ways to practice, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye-bye.